Honey Tanes here. Welcome to my Let's Play of Doki Doki Literature Club. So this is a game that was requested by Spenray. He's actually been talking to me most of the morning asking me to play this game. He hasn't told me anything except that 15 minute episodes will work. So these episodes are going to be pretty short. Uh, I'm already disturbed because before I even got to the screen and got to mess with the settings a little bit, it said basically along the lines of if you have anxiety or depression you may not feel safe playing this game. And those are two things that I actually have severely. So thank you, Spenray. Thanks, bestie. Anyway, let's just get this started. Okay, hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Oh boy. That girl is Sayori, my neighborhood and child good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I was tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me after like this, I feel almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Oh, she's kind of cute. I overslept again, but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Itanes. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Cross our... Across the street to make our way to the school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. So me. It's me. I... That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I did. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, and when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime, it is me. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or you have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Me! I want to be a neat. I, l I would love to be a neat. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look into a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. After packing up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and I realize that I'm the only one left. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some extra encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come join my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Meanie. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure the only she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And not to give me cupcakes and everything. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning that she as to have planned this all out. I let it a long sigh. Fine! I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay! Oh my god. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. 
I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used to the third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you not to call me a new member. Huh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sari always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, hi. Do I know you? All words escape me in the situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we really talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was n probably the most popular girl in class. Oh, okay. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile so chill, no. Oh, boy. Oh, man. All right. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the counter to the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, trade in hand. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Oh boy. Oh, they look like little cats! That's pretty fucking cute. Girl after my own heart. So cute! I had no idea you were so baking good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, and then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the single best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her seeking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? Oh no, she's Sundere! Oh no! No! Alright! <sighs> Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Mean him for you or anything? I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well maybe. But not for you. You know, you, dummy. Yeah, alright. I might like her the most so far. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting the, down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles. Sorry. So what made you consider to join the Liva, huh? I can't read. I can't read and talk at the same time. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the liter literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. 
I'd rather... I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, and I'm fulfilling that dream. Are you the Yandere? Or is Yuri the Yandere? One of you two is. Monica is really a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Oh, Jesus Christ. Sven, what have you gotten me into? I'm waiting for the disturbing parts. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, what kinds of things do you like to read? Uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly, to myself half-joking. Natsuki's head certainly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader then, I guess. Well, that could change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Sounds like my husband. It does sound like my husband. I'm gonna move this a little bit. Yeah. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and com to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been leading her- Oh my god! It is my husband! I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at that minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. There's someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last meeting club. Club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't You Say It. And give it back. Fine, fine. Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori so sidles uh -huh, up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. When did you share them sometime? Nope! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest breaches of your heart. Do you have a writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable through enough to share hers. Ooh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sat in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all a little bit more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right? Monica warm smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth about what's been on my mind. I never said I would join the club. 
Sarah may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought... Uh-oh. Uh... <laughs> How am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Doggo. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, their eyes light up. Look, I don't really like talking that much, so... Well, I don't read characters this often. I normally have somebody with me, so... Oh! We're actually past the time. Alright, so... Still waiting for the disturbing part, Spenry. Where is it? Show me where it is! I'll see you guys later.